Welcome everyone to the MDM show. I am the co-host, Donna, and I also have, of course, here with me, Peter Shank, founder of Aquaware, the, uh, the amazing products and software. Peter is with us, and we had a little technical difficulties with um, Dr. Powell. He's having some issues, unable to connect with us, but Peter and I are here. Peter, how are you? Don, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Are you nice and warm? <laughs> yeah. Today we had a bit of a heat wave. <laughs> so I want to apologize to everybody tonight. Dr. Dean Howe is having some technical difficulties, so we are switching to Plan B. And Plan B is to talk about a lot of the things we have in the works coming up in the next 24 hours to two months, and we're going to be doing a whole slew of activations utilizing the technology. And I just want to start out with one tonight to kind of kick off the show. So everyone, go ahead and get some water, please, because we're <laughs> we're going to be drinking quite a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so first one activation tonight. Everyone just take their left hand, please, and raise it over the glass of water about three inches and spread your fingers. In a moment, you'll feel the energy running down through your hand into the water. Okay. It can come in the form of tingling. It can come in the form of heat. Sometimes other people feel it in different areas of the body. This is just a general blessing to kick off the show. I'd like everyone to connect with the water. Just put your attention on it. Energy that is in physical form or non-physical form will do anything for you as long as you acknowledge its existence. The highest form of acknowledgement that you can give energy in physical form or non-physical form is by say, actually just saying a few simple words. Put your attention on the water and repeat the words out loud. I honor the space in which you exist. And in a minute, that energy flow is going to increase through your hand into the water. Again, this is just a general blessing to kick off the show. Okay, everyone go ahead and drink as much as you want. Okay, I'm going to switch screens here. We're going to go jump into a source for activation. And we're going to come back, and it looks like Dr. Dean Howe is almost live now. So we're going to switch screens here, go into a quick live Source 4 activation. I have my favorite one already almost ready to go. Okay, for those of you and listeners, the Source 4 is one of my ship products. This particular program is all about manifestation. Okay, in this particular iteration, which is version 4.0, we have the nine symbols of creation, which are completely autonomous from the other ones. And the idea is to intuitively set up what we call an array. And an array is kind of a keyhole into your manifestation. So tonight we're going to do a general manifestation of anything you want. And the only thing the listening audience needs to do is visualize in their head what they want to manifest. Okay, the technology comes with 10 preset arrays. The, the presets or they all work, but none of them are predefined except number seven. And number seven is all about abundance, but we do that one a lot on the show. So we're going to switch it up tonight, and we're actually going to use number nine. Okay, this is one of my favorites, too. This is a preset array, so I need everyone to get a glass of water. Okay, and I'm going to walk you through how the technology works at this point. This is a general manifestation. Basically, what you're staring at is the genie in the bottle. This will allow you to bring in your manifestation extremely quickly. Some people like to start off small with a blue button, a thimble, a matchstick, a needle, a pin. Some people like to throw the whole farm in it and, you know, more money in my bank account, more abundance in my life, um, manifest your loved one, your partner, husband, wife. There is 
no limitations to the technology. When you approach this type of technology, you really need to be the child. You approach it with a childlike manner. That's the way the interface with sorts of the universe works. The consciousness behind the software is very childlike. It only wants to give you what you want. And it is of the highest vibration, which is love and the highest vibration. So now that you have your manifestation in your head, Okay, we're going to click enter the source for, and the only thing that is required of the user is just put your attention on the water, and I will walk through quickly what is happening with the software. Okay, so again, the only thing that is required of the user is just to put your attention on the water. Here we go, three, two, one. We are using water prep on the water. We are removing the memories and the energy inference from the water. It runs for 8.1 seconds. We are now running user preparation. We're creating a thin veil in the water, which goes right to the subconscious mind and opens it up for acceptance. We are now pre-nucleating the water. We are getting it ready for what we call the light pass, and I'll explain that in a minute. We are now setting the light pass within the water. And we are now nucleating the water with your manifestation. Okay, so in traditional manifestation, the way it works is you come up in your head with a manifestation and you release it to the universe. The universe comes by and grabs it, brings it upstream in reality. <clears throat> in the time by which you release it from your head and the universe grabs it and brings it upstream is what we call the path, the P-A-T-H. At any time during the path, if you have doubt or worry, the thought form gets destroyed and you have to start over. That's why traditional manifestation, 99.999% of the people fail at it. The source doesn't work like that. When you consciously direct your manifestation into the water, okay, it's creating the light. And when you consume that water, everyone can go ahead and drink it now. The light paths come out of the body with your manifestation. The source grabs them, brings it upstream, and creates, starts creating you know, the reality for your manifestation. The difference being between traditional manifestation and what we just did is the time by which you consume the water and the universe grabs it and brings it upstream, the path is shielded with what we call the light path. So if you have doubt or worry anywhere along the path that's irrelevant, the thought form will come into fruition. And the best part about that is the universe always delivers it in a form that is more powerful than your human, imagine, your human imagination can pick up. Okay, so that was a general manifestation, and you'll notice the water sometimes it starts to bubble, sometimes it starts to move, sometimes it vibrates, sometimes it crawls out of the glass, sometimes it soaks through the water. But when you drink it, you'll definitely notice the change, and it will fill your body with a, a very sweet taste and a lightness, and you'll feel the light rays coming out of your body. Okay, looks like we have. Dr. Dean Howe online. I'm going to switch back now. Donna, are we good to go? You know, we have Dr. Howe there, and I'm not sure if he can hear us. <laughs> he hears us. He can hear us. Hi, Dr. Howe. Okay. All right, um, Don, you keep working with him. I'm going to do another activation here. All right. Is that oh, working? Yes. Oh, we okay. We're here. We had to switch. We had to switch computers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Doctor Hal. How are you? you? I, I, I'm frustrated, but other than that, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> no. No frustration here. Everything is good. It's all <laughs> Perfect. So, can you? Please explain who you are and what you do to our listening audience. Sure. My name is Dean Howell. I'm a naturopathic doctor, uh, and I'm licensed in the state of Washington since 1982. So I'm a, from the very first year of graduates from Bastyr University in the Seattle area. And uh, I am a specialist in physical medicine techniques that I use to change consciousness. <laughs> that sounds pretty amazing. Can you explain to us a little bit about the technique and what you, what, what does that actually mean? How does it change a person? 
Well, you know, most people, when they want to optimize themselves and make them more psychically able and intuitive and so forth, they detox and they eat well and they consume all the right pills and they leave out a whole huge area which is to work with the physical structure as well. You know, if you clean out all your heavy metals and you get rid of your parasites and your yeast and you eat all the organic foods and the grass-fed meats and the proper oils, it really does help you work better. But your brain runs hydraulically. What I mean by hydraulically is that it's dependent on fluid flow in order to operate. So your, your brain, in a way, holds fluid like a sponge. So where your blood and cerebral spinal fluid flow, are, they determine how your brain can operate. So, for instance, people that are on anti-anxiety medications or anti-depression medications or anti-psychotic medications, they're all... You mean pretty much like everybody in the world, right? Especially <laughs> well, in the States. Well, well, I think something like 40% 40, 40 or something of everybody anyhow. <laughs> and, and so what happens... I, 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 can, I can verifiably say, I can probably say that me and Donna are not on any anxiety pills. We, are, we get high <laughs> on life and on the show and having phenomenal people like you with us. <laughs> right. Well, so the way that those medications work is that they alter the, the delivery of neurotransmitters to, to your brain. And so let's say you're depressed and you take a medication that changes your serotonin, one of the uh, neurotransmitters used in the cerebral spinal fluid. You're depressed, you take a medication, it increases your serotonin levels everywhere in your brain. Not just the area of your brain associated with depression, but all the other parts of your brain too. So, for instance, people will usually try a few different antidepressants till they find the one that has the fewest side effects because they're hoping to find the one that will change the neurotransmitters only in the area associated with depression and not have it change their sex function and stuff as well. But that means that we're dependent on those fluids and a physicist can tell you that fluid in a closed system flows based on the shape of the vessel and we already know that water in a river flows following the riverbanks. And the same kind of thing happens in our brains. So, if you're depressed, there's part of your brain that's not getting all of the flow of neurotransmitters. And then what we do is we take a medication that get, gets us more neurotransmitters everywhere instead of just that target tissue. So, if we start changing the position of the bones in the head, we change the fluid flow dynamics of that brain. And people have been doing cranial manipulation techniques for a long time. But what I found out, you know, I, as I said, it's been almost 35 years since I graduated from medical school. Uh, you know, I'm not a youngster. <laughs> I'm in my 60s. And, and so, but what happens is that when you go into practice, you believe that all of these things are going to work just the way your teachers told you when you're in class. And then I found out the real world. I mean, have you ever had a massage or gone to a physical therapist or a chiropractor or an osteopath or even a naturopath doing physical medicine techniques? What they do is give you relief, and it's wonderful. I'm so glad that they can give people some relief, but what it rarely does is last. The treatments don't last. The treatments wear off. So I used to have people get treated in my clinic and then they would say um, schedule for the rest of the year uh, on their favorite appointment times. So like I had one guy said he was going to see me forever, 2 o'clock on every other Friday. And I started getting really upset because these treatments weren't lasting. And what I figured out in the years to co follow that was how to make the treatments accrue so that we could make lasting changes in structure. And, and it's a huge change because we can accumulate treatments instead of trying to totally fix you each day and hoping it would stay. Instead, we make a, maybe a smaller change 
but it lasts. And we keep accruing those things. And as we do that, we get, you can take pictures or x-rays and see the structural changes. And more than that, you get the head changing shape so that the brain functions change too. So let, let, let me interject a question here. Yeah. It is a general path that people should follow to become ultimately healthy. Well, kind of all these things that we've just been talking about. To get ultimately healthy, what we really need to do, start out by detoxing, getting rid of petrochemicals, get rid of heavy metals. We also need to uh, treat the parasites. And after we've treated the heavy metals and the parasites and things, then we can start changing the uh, yeast and fungus problems, right? We can do all those things. We want to start eating safely, which means eating traditional foods. Traditional foods would include grass-fed meats, organic vegetables, uh, and fruits, and uh, safe water, and then living in a place where we're not full of uh, electromagnetic fields. Right? All those things, I think most people that are conscious are aware of, of those kinds of things. Then what I want to add on top of it is physical medicine that actually works. And so far, I've only seen techniques similar to mine that are making lasting long-term changes. And unless your brain is having full fluid flow, how can it possibly work its best? So we want to do so all those things. Thank you for that. So what's the difference between an, an allopathic and a natural path treatments? <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced that first one correctly. Oh, you did? Yeah, if you go get a medical dictionary and look it up, look up allopathic and look up naturopathic. Uh, it, Donna it, was supposed to do that for me, but she didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> but but what, what, what you'll find out is that all medical treatments are either allopathic or naturopathic. Naturopathic means that we treat the cause of what caused the, the, the condition or illness. When we're an allopath, we are symptom treating, which means that we're giving relief and hoping, perhaps, that the problem goes away, but we're not addressing it. So if I break my leg and I need surgery on my leg, the surgery is naturopathic. So then but, how are physical medicine, medical treatments, are they all simple allopathic methods? You understand? Yeah, they're all pretty much all allopathic methods, and that's why so many of us are discouraged with physical medicine. I mean, how many people do you know with chronic pain that aren't bothering to get care for it? Because they're frustrated because all they're getting is temporary relief and they're not getting corrections. Getting that well, temporary relief is allopathic. People come to me with physical pain all the time and I give them water and it just miraculously kind of disappears. <laughs> That's what I specialize in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get give them their two quarts or so a day for sure. <laughs> so, can, so exactly what you do as a profession, can you please explain that? Because I've heard, I, I haven't experienced you yet, but I will because I know you come into the East Coast, and we'll get to that. But oh, I've yes. heard you put a, a balloon up someone's nose and, and do some amazing work with a balloon. I don't know if that's backward that, picture. That's true. So, so what, what we do with the neurocranial restructuring we call it NCR for short. Uh, what we do with the neurocranial restructuring treatments is we do extensive body work at first to even out the flow of energy to make the body temporarily more symmetrical and uh, to uh, relax the people so that they're ready to, for a change. Because this is the biggest obstacle for most people is that they're hardwired to not change. So what we do is a lot of body work to get those things prepared. And I also do external cranial manipulation, so I manipulate the head with my hands. And at the end of the treatment, what I found out over these last 30 years is that I can't make these treatments last unless I move the central bone inside the head. So you have a bone that goes from temple to temple. 
it makes up part of the back of the eye sockets, it goes behind the nose, and it goes all the way into the roof of the mouth, where you can just touch it there. There's one on each please, side. Please don't pick your nose for the listening audience. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then what that, uh, that bone is called the sphenoid bone, and in the back of the nose, it has two little, they call them processes, that hang down, and we can push on those with these small balloons. Because at first, sphenoid manipulations back in the 1920s were done with the little finger, literally up the nose, all the way into the throat. And it hurt so much that some people would faint from the pain. And they weren't able to get the results to last. Because you see, what I found was that I had to make the treatments to make them persistent, I had to change the person's body so that it was more stable after treatment than it was before. So the old treatments of putting the finger all the way up the nose, they couldn't stabilize the work so it wouldn't last. Don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> so what, what we do now instead is we finish the treatment. If, let's say you're on my table for 30 minutes. The last 15 or 20 seconds of the treatment, I would put a small balloon in through the nostril into the top of the throat. And actually, there's six different ways I can go in the two nostrils. And I pick a particular one based on reflexes that your body displays. And then I know how to move the inside of the head. So we do the body work, we do various reflex tests, and we finish with that small balloon. And what that overall, that whole thing does is it starts literally moving the bone structure. And I work four days in a row because we can get momentum and the people continue to change for a few weeks after four days of those treatments. And what we can see is that they become more and more symmetrical. And as they do that, they function better and better. How can structural change in the skeleton cause changes in the nervous system function? Well, the way that we can change those things is by changing, optimizing the shape of the box that the brain is kept in. The more it fits the, the brain perfectly, the better the brain can function. Kind of like custom shoes. You know how you go to the shoe store and try to find a, a bunch of different shoes till you find the pair that you can tolerate? Instead of having custom shoes, which would cost too much, well, we have kind of like generic skulls that show how we had our teeth pulled and maybe wore braces and the fall we had in second grade and the time that we broke our nose playing football and all of those things have happened to our head. And, and then when that happens, your brain has little pressures on it and it now works differently. So, like, well, after a series of concussions, a lot of people get dull and weird, you know? Doc, Dr. Howe, how we work over here on the MDM team is Donna does all the experimentation, so she is totally up for you to put a balloon up her nose and change her head and all that. And she comes back smarter than what she is. I'm going to do the treatment for sure. <laughs> Where are you? What city are you in? <laughs> what city are you in? What's that? What city are you in? I am in Connecticut. I am near um, Stanford, Connecticut. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm about, yeah. about an hour change outside New York City. Right, right, right. Uh, see, I'll be in Brooklyn um, January 30th, uh, February 1st. That's right, February 1st. So then you'll be closer oh. to Peter than you will be to me. Oh, so you, you could do Peter first. There you go. <laughs> I, I think you're going to stop in Phoenix for four days and work on her. And she's still conscious of you, and you can come out here and work on me. So, <laughs> well, I go to Phoenix to see my mother. So, <laughs> so, so what, one of the questions interesting to me is, is consciousness affected by change in the physical structure? It is, definitely. And you can see this by talking with people after they've had a head injury. You know, if you uh, talk with people after a head injury, sometimes they'll assume that all the problems are permanent brain injuries, but we found out that a lot of it is changeable. 
So after people have had concussions, we can do these sort of treatments and they become smarter and more like their old selves. I worked in 2010 with Marines with PTSD uh, in, in San Diego and they were all men who had uh, had concussions and were having chronic headaches and all the emotional things associated with PTSD and after uh, four four-day series they were all normal again and then the Marines uh, Marine Corps pulled the plug on that study I'm not quite sure why it worked so they didn't let us go any farther <laughs> yeah but the, so yeah. What what are some of the, the the benefits of getting this done? Let's just let's let's talk about me for a second. If okay. I come in and have this done, what, what can I expect? Well, for you, let's see. We would start getting uh, uh, giving you a little more symmetry in in your eye frame because your eyes are slightly different shapes, and I can actually make them more symmetrical. Let's start this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this to Donna. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, and then, and then uh, the uh, 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 your posture will improve, so that that like slumping shoulders and things like that will go away. Uh, I reverse uh, a certain amount of the what? What are you talking about? Uh, I work with TMJ, sinusitis, nasal breathing, double vision, glaucoma, <laughs> that are all mechanical problems in the face area. Uh, sway back, hunch back in the spine, we can change those things. And then, of course, the various brain conditions, so PTSD and learning disabilities and chronic anxiety and chronic depression, all of these kind of problems go away as we optimize the nervous system and optimize the musculoskeletal system. Does it help snoring? It often does. It's it's. Uh, it helps probably well, well over half the time. It'll reduce it a lot. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. It's so, really cool. It's mechanical and it lasts. You know, <laughs> I, I'm regarded as a pariah by some of the other physical medicine therapists because they view me as trying to kill their practices. And, and what, what is the percentage of people that you see that are functioning optimally after you work with them? Is it 95%, 100%? Well, I, I wish it were. Instead, most people have so many problems that they see me long enough to get rid of their pain complaints and I don't get to work with them enough to optimize them. I'm getting close to optimize, optimized myself, but I've been doing this for 35 years. And, you know, you don't know anybody that's perfectly healthy. I've seen one woman that had optimal skeletal structure. She was a, a Chinese acrobat, and when she was standing, she could bend backwards and, and put her chin on her butt. Really? Amazing. Amazing. That's normal function, by the way. <laughs> the rest of us are impaired, so... That's very, very cool. <laughs> Dr. Howard. I'd like to just take a two-minute break. I want to do a activation quickly for the listening audience. Sure. Are you okay with taking live callers in about 15 minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Um, folks, I'm going to give out a phone number about 9.15 Eastern time. So if you have questions for Dr. Hal, you can call in. And we're just going to switch over. We're going to do a 12th project activation quickly. We're going to do this one on the crown chakra, which I think would be great with our guest this evening, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over screens. That's source four. The 12th project is a piece of software that I developed back in 2009. And it is completely built around chakras. We call them the virtual 12. I'll get to those in a second. Then we have the physical 7. The virtual 12 were based on the 12 gods of Olympus. And the physical 7 were added in the third iteration. This is fourth generation technology utilizing the Aquaware engine. And basically with the virtual 12 is we create virtual chakras outside the body 
and they have little breadcrumbs in them so we could remember who we were. In my belief system, we are all spirit energy living the human experience, and we just can't remember who we were. This piece of software actually unlocks the breadcrumbs we left ourselves to remember who we were. So, for instance, if you were the world's leading anthropologist and everything in the world, everybody in the world looked to you about everything in the anthropology field and you know you're getting ready to go on your greatest conquest you're gonna you're gonna trudge through the Amazon rainforest for three months and you're going to you know meet a tribe of, of people that has never had contact with the outside world well based on your conditioning how you would do that is you would wave a white flag and walk into their encamp or their homes and you'd live ten years with, with them and you come out and write a book about your experience but from an evolved consciousness you know the best way to do that is to be born into their society and live a lifetime as them but in order to do that you actually have to forget who you were so that's where the virtual 12 came in again it creates virtual chakras outside the body that leaves breadcrumbs to tell us who we were and in the third iter in the fourth iteration we added the seven physical so I need everyone to go ahead and get a glass of water we're going to do a crown chakra activation again three things will happen we're going to water prep the water we're going to user prep it and then we're going to nucleate it with the crown chakra at which point you'll consume it and the top of your head will open up this particular software is great in conjunction with the clearing chakra workshop one and two that I have done. Okay, so if everyone's ready, I'll count backwards three, two, one. The only thing that's required of the user is where you put your attention, the intention will go. Here we go, three, two, one. We are now nucleating that glass of water, or actually, we're water prepping it. We are removing the memories and the energetic imprints from the water. Now we are user prepping the water. We are creating a thin veil. As soon as we drink it, it goes right to the subconscious mind. Now we are nucleating it with the crown. So this takes about 18.1 seconds, at which point everyone can go ahead and drink it. All right, I'd like everyone to go ahead and drink as much as you want. And notice the taste and the texture of the water. And in a couple minutes, you'll feel the top of your head start to open up. This particular piece of software on the on the physical seven is great for cleaning the chakras and maintaining them after the workshop. Okay, Dr. Hal, back to you. Hi. Hey. So. That was fun. I lied, I lied about the 915. I want to jump right into live calls from, from our listening audience. That number is 203-456-8155. Again, it's 203-456-8155. Please call the MDM show and we'll connect you live with Dr. Hal if you have any questions for him. Anna, how are we doing with questions from the listening audience on the channel? You bet. Uh, so we do have some. Here I am. We do have some um, questions. So let's start with Georgia. She wants to know what about scoliosis, Dr. Hal? Okay. So scoliosis responds quite well to these kinds of treatments uh, because most of the time people's scoliosis was either created or made much worse through uh, problems with their dentist. And so what we'll find is that if the forehead and cheekbones don't quite line up, it looks like, like they're, uh, they're, they've been twisted so they don't line up quite the same, that that same twist in the head creates a twist in the spine and as we get those things straightened out the spiral in the spine the scoliosis can go away 
So, so it's uh, really quick, and it's way better than those German back braces. <laughs> wow, that's that's incredible. I, yes. Okay. And Gabriella wants to know: Does this help with nose symmetry? Your noses. Yes, you know, at, at one point I I thought I was going to uh, do this as primarily as a beauty treatment because it moves the facial bones so much. And, you know, uh, like as the bones move into different positions, we get rid of wrinkles. So I'm 62 in two weeks, and I'm just starting to get some wrinkles because my skin's tighter, you know. Uh, and that's because I've moved the bones out using the NCR treatments. Similarly, we can uh, change the nasal bridge. So when I played uh, football, I broke my nose five times. I broke a water ski with my face. Oh, uh, that was not a good one. And I broke my nose kite flying behind a boat. And so my nose, the bridge of my nose used to be the same width as my little finger. And you can see how much narrow it is now. And then my right cheekbone used to be a half inch lower than my left. So it can change quite a bit. So the changing the bridge of the nose is kind of easy. Wow. So, Doctor, when you are changing the shape, um, does it does it shift back? I, I, I have a feeling that, you know, with people who, like, grind their, their teeth or... TMJ or anything like that? Do they have issues with their jaw? Can their jaw be realigned through this? It, I can realign the jaw, but if the dental work is made for a crooked mouth and then we make the mouth straighter, sometimes the dentist has to be involved fixing the dental work so it fits properly. And so that helps reduce the, the problems of recreating the TMJ problems, for instance. With the nose, with this systems, uh, this is a systematic approach to these structural things. It doesn't actually go back, or mm -hmm. if it does, only a little bit, and further treatments will move it further. So that's how my face got corrected. I'm sure it works. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> like I said, use Donna. She's. I know. Well, you know, I, I kind of think like my eyes are aren't. Great. So look, my I'm tilting my head, and so maybe I do need to get some restructuring done. Uh, yeah, one well, lower than the other. If you look at your face on the left and right side, you can just see how the two sides aren't exactly the same. As we do more NCR treatments, we can make them more the same, which for you would make your eyes a little bit rounder, mm -hmm. and then the two sides of your face would be more symmetrical. Your cheekbones would come up a little bit higher, yeah. and as that yeah. happens. The, your nasal bridge would get a little narrower, you know, but you already have a, a lot of room for your teeth. You're not one of my really severe cases. Oh. You, know. you opened up a can of whoop ass on yourself. <laughs> I have a little bit up lopsided, but you know, I, that's right. have to I have hope. <laughs> There's hope for me, is what he's saying, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not saying it. You heard it from a medical pro. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So, hey, Peter, can you um, let's get that number one more time. Uh, I'm sorry. What are we doing? The number. Can you give a shout out again for the number? It's two zero three four five six eight one five five. Again, it's two zero three four five six eight one five five. Let's go, folks. Let's get the let's get the the phones lit up because I know you got. I'm seeing your questions. Um, Georgia says, "How flipping cool is that? I want it now." And <laughs> well, come come to see me in in uh, February first or February fifth, sixth, sixth February first or February sixth for four days in uh, in Brooklyn. So you go to Brooklyn. You go to. Do you still go to to Colorado? Yeah, yeah, I'll be in Colorado uh, tomorrow. Oh. And then I go from there to, I, I have a class I need to take, and then I'm going to Brooklyn. And, uh, oh, I'm going to go to Miami at the uh, for the last weekend of February. And then, of course, I'm always out in L.A. and San Diego. So You know, Jill wanted to know, Jill is in the chat, and she wants to know if you're coming to Florida. So there you have it, Jill. Right. Make your way to Miami. 
<laughs> but there are. Uh, you know, there's, yes. How can our listening audience get a hold of you? The easiest way is to go to d r d e a n h o w e l l dot com, like Doctor Dean Howell dot com. I have a phone okay. number, eight 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 two five two zero four one one. And in fact, actually, uh, my secretary is available. <laughs> and, uh, and and then uh, you know we're we're also on Facebook and things too. So and Twitter and that's also and Twitter and it's also Dr. Dean Hell again. You know, there's some great stories of success for different kinds of people. It would just show you the breadth of what we can treat with this. You know, we've had I I've a I, uh, my second wife has been dead for four years because of cancer and mainstream therapies. But one, along the way, she had a stroke, and they said she would never speak again mm -hmm. because an area the size of a walnut and the left temple area had died because they she got MRSA, an infection, uh, from a botched medical procedure, got endocarditis, and then all these pieces broke off and went up into her brain. And... With NCR, I was able to have her back speaking four languages uh, again because she was fluent in many different languages just by changing her head shape. I've worked with people after strokes, restored them to reasonably normal function. A lot of the times, people with strokes that lo lose function are still able to function again. We work with PTSD. We work with people with learning disabilities. I have a lot of ki school kids whose grades will suddenly leap up and the kid that you knew was smart that had D grades will suddenly get B's and A's. I work with uh, athletes, even pro athletes, and we make them not only smarter, but we also have them running faster and jumping higher and being stronger. I work with uh, children uh, who are having problems with coordination where they have trouble walking because their, their feet are too turned out. and when we do these treatments, we can gradually turn the feet straight. So I've had kids that could never run be able to run. And uh, uh, there's, gosh, there's so many stories. Ask me about a condition. I can probably tell you a story <laughs> of somebody that I've treated with that condition and how much better they are now. Just ask is there, me is there, about the disease. Is there, is there a particular person that you worked on that you had such amazing results with? It, it just changed you as a person? Oh, really hard good. touching, heartfelt. Hmm. I worked on on a guy who's a, a writer and yeah, I can talk about him. He's given me writing, uh, written permission to talk about his case. He was raised in Princeton, New Jersey, and his dad's best friend was, uh, you know, his dad was professor of mathematics at Princeton, and his best friend was the professor of physics, Albert Einstein. So he grew up with literally Einstein around the house, but he was a boy in a wheelchair because he couldn't walk, and he learned to walk with leg braces when he was five or six. By the time he was eight, he was complaining of chronic head pain. And they examined him. That's not him Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say it. <laughs> Sam <Bison. laughs> but, uh, but, you know, and, and they said he was a psychiatric case, that there was nothing wrong, and that this head pain that he was complaining of was, was invented. Well, he went to university after he graduated from a private high school in the Princeton area. And the first class he went into was a room with 300 students. If you've been to a big university, you know what that's like. And he had his first anxiety attack. He ended up having to drop out of university because his anxiety was so bad. And he became an advertising copywriter. Well, he still had the head pain all the time, and he started going around and interviewing, or not interviewing, uh, seeking treatment from f famous unusual doctors. This is back in the 1970s. 
And so he made uh, Dr. Kelly, the dentist, famous about the metabolic typing. He worked with D.E. Irons, the guy that developed psyllium seed, now Metamucil. <laughs> he worked with Dr. Christopher, the famous herbalist. None of these people were able to help his situation, so he wrote a letter to the editor saying, how can I be helped with, you know, looking for the readers to help? And they sent him to the guy that showed me these basic balloon techniques that I had improved on. He came to see me for a number of treatments, and he started coming to see me every month, and he did so for about six years, every month for four days. So we had a lot of meals out together because we, he would come and see me in all these weird locations. But as the time went along, I, he was at my office once, and he always would go out the back door so he wouldn't accidentally see people that might know him because some of the people who were seeing me were his readers. He was a health writer. And one day he went, accidentally went out the front door and walked into a nest of his his readers out there and realized that he no longer had anxiety about being in public places and started doing public speaking and going to conferences and talking. And uh, he kept treat getting treated because he said, you know, there were all these things about me, my fear of crowds and just worries and anxieties, and I'm still getting treated now because I'm curious, what else of the things that I accept as being just intrinsically me are actually conditions that are triggered by my brain being squeezed by the skull bones being in the wrong positions. And so this is one of the people that started wanting to be optimized instead of just having his symptoms be made to go away. And this is a huge thing in the whole alternative healing community. You know, do you want your problem to go away or do you want to be better? That's sometimes slightly different. That's pretty amazing. Doctor, I just want to take a quick break and I want to kind of talk about a few things that we have coming up with the MDM team. Um, okay. Tomorrow night we have the energy clearing workshop. Okay. Last week we had some technical difficulties and we had to reschedule for tomorrow night. I just want to make everyone aware that that is still on sale. The email, one more email will go out tomorrow night. And again, the, the energy clearing workshop is a new generation of workshops I will be conducting this year. This is the first one obviously for 2016 and I'm going to be teaching you how to clear your energy field and open you up to more conscious awareness. So things like do you feel stuck mentally, physically or emotionally, this workshop's for you. Lack of clarity in your life, this workshop's for you. Need to release negativity is a huge one, this workshop's for you. Need inner, you know, inner health and, and peace of mind. This workshop is completely for you. You need to reconnect to your body, mind, and spirit. Again, this workshop is for you. And one of my favorite: Are you ready to step into your higher self? That is a really, really important question you need to ask yourself. For those of you that have been on my workshops before, you know how powerful they've been in the past. 2016 is a whole different animal. The workshop that we, th this workshop that we started last Monday night was so powerful that it brought down the entire teleconferencing system. It brought down the number that you dialed in on and everyone else dialed in on for other workshops and whatever they were doing, but you had the specific pin. And it was kind of funny because as we were closing in on the Star of David, that's when the line went dead at point number five, and that's pretty amazing. <laughs> and for those of you that were on it, felt the power of it. So it gave us a week to kind of regroup and re-coordinate. And again, this workshop, you don't want to miss it because it's going to be building upon layers or foundations of layers of things to come. Okay, It's going to introduce us into what we call the master class workshop series, which is going to be a very special show. It is going to be aired on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. You absolutely don't want to miss that show. It's going to explain in detail what the master class workshops are and how you're going to interact with us 
and how we're going to move through those six or eight workshops. But more importantly, if you're interested, there will be a finite amount of time after the show to purchase the workshops at a steep discount. So if you want a precursor to it, I highly suggest that you sign up for the Energy Clearing Workshop tomorrow night. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm always generous on these shows, and because I feel bad that the listening audience had to wait a few minutes for Dr. Howell to get on, I'm giving away 25% off the entire product line just for tonight, or actually the next 24 hours. So if you use coupon code 250FF show, 25 off show, you can use that on anything you like in the store to receive 25% off retail price. Okay. I'm sorry. Dr. Howell, back to you. Oh, okay. What would you like to hear about? <laughs> so, excite me. Why do, why do I want to come to you, have you put your finger up my nose, stick a balloon up my other nostril, and make my head go like this and make me walk straighter and talk better and make me smarter? Why do I want to do that with you? Well, wait, why wouldn't you want to do that? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Let me add the sterile balloon when you stick it up. <laughs> of course. Like, I wouldn't want you to carry the one used on Donna and use it on me. I right, right. That, There's it? no recycling. <laughs> right, right. No, that, we, that's one thing nice about latex balloons is that they're still cheap. <laughs> Dr. Howell, so for anyone who's yes. allergic to, to latex, is there something else that, that can be done for them? What, what I do with sensitivity to latex is I use so much lubricant on the, on the latex that the latex never touches them. Ah. Because the other kinds of balloons like, uh, or, or gloves, like the, uh, they, don't, uh, they don't stretch, so they can't be inflated. So like the nitrile and that kind of stuff, they don't work. So we actually have to use real latex, actually made from rubber. <laughs> real <Okay>. rubber. <laughs> yeah, I was, I mean. <laughs> it's time for Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now you're talking about coccygeal adjustments. Everyone <laughs> That's how painful. So, no, all right. But, it is Let's move beyond the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, why, why would someone want to have this done with you? Well, the and, reason. And more importantly, are there any are there any side effects to it? Well, the main side effects is that you feel better and and happier. <laughs> Actually, that tends to be the main side effect. Uh, it's possible, though, uh, especially if your sinuses are impacted, to get substantial mucus drainage. Almost like so, you might blow your nose a lot, and occasionally people will feel wandering pains around their body as their body unwinds. But so, so there are a few side effects, but they're really quite minor. the The main reason that most people come to see me is because of pain. They want to get rid of the pain, and by treating their musculoskeletal system and getting it better and better, we get to a point where they're no longer able to create the pain which is different than treating the pain itself because then you're not treating the underlying problem. We're going to treat the underlying problem. and So like uh, we did a study on migraines that uh, a medical journal refused to publish because we took 12 uh, authentic migraine sufferers who were using imipramine and other medications to control their, their migraines and three-fourths of the people responded uh, the women with hormonal migraines didn't respond at all, but the rest of the people that, uh, you know, they all responded, and we had a 91% decrease in migraines in uh, eight days of treatment, spread out over uh, six months. 91% improvement. So they said that it was clear that we had falsified results because there was no therapy that effective. So we use migraines, sinusitis, nasal breathing problems, TMJ, double vision, glaucoma, the, uh, you know, it, and all of those have pains associated with them, back pains, arm pains, leg pains. And so the main reason they come to see me is for pain. The other people that come to see me would be for brain problems, the anxiety and depression and learning disabilities. And then the third group, the ones that I, I the, my favorites, are the optimizers who just want to be more psychic, more intuitive, more functional. 
and aren't hurting anymore. And so are some people start out with the pain and then they gradually become the optimized people because they realize how much better they're getting. <laughs> and their work improves, you know, uh, like artists with, with, uh, uh, that are uh, stuck, you know, you were talking about that. Well, it also works mechanically. So if you're stuck and you can't get your work out when you're a writer or you're an artist, changing your head shape can be a way to get that going too. <laughs> That's awesome. We are running short of time. Can, um, Dr. Dr. Hanna, can you please let the listening audience know again how they can get in touch with you? Sure. So go to drdeanhowell.com. DrDeanHowell.com. And if you type in my name or type in neurocranial restructuring, you're, you will find me. But the, I also have, I've trained about 150 people to do this work, and they do it, and some of them follow my protocols better than others. So uh, I, 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 awesome. unless you see someone real close to me, they may not be following my protocols very well. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. So Howell, I'd like me. to thank Dr. Howell. <laughs> I'd like to thank you on behalf of the MDM team. You are an amazing person. Uh, you don't know if I'm ready to have a, um, a balloon, a lubricated balloon, inserted in my nose yet, but um, <laughs> you, never know. you never know. You're going to be out my way, you know, at the end of the month. I yeah, I, I'm out there every every six weeks. Okay, great. Every six weeks, uh, every six weeks for almost 20 years, I've been in my in either Manhattan and late last six months Brooklyn, but I, I've been there many times. <laughs> Awesome. I'd like to thank everyone in the listening audience tonight. It was a great show. Dr. Hal is absolutely amazing. Donna, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night, good night, everyone. Good night, everybody.